Goodrich Field, Anoka, Minnesota, is home to Brianna Scurry. I haven't been here in so long. It's fantastic. It, it was um, a little bit of nostalgia. It's where she became an All-American goalie and paved her way to a college scholarship. The Olympic teams, the women's national team. But you should know she dreamed of all of that years before. When you were a little kid, what did you want to be? So when I was eight years old, I saw the 1980 Lake Placid ice hockey team playing against the USSR. Somehow, instinctively, um, little eight-year-old girl that I was saw greatness occurring on the screen and wanted to be an Olympian as soon as I saw that team win. And Al Michaels was like, do you believe in miracles? I'm like, yes, I do. I want to be an Olympian. She dared to dream and made it her reality, all the while carrying identities that made her a first. Being the only African-American player on essentially every single youth team, being the only openly, openly gay player on the women's national team, that was a first. A first she ran to celebrate after that 99 World Cup win. When? There's video of me in 1999 after we won, running into the stands to meet my then girlfriend. And the camera is watching me run up to her, and as soon as they realized it was a woman, cut away. It would be many years before the cameras wouldn't cut away from the love two people like her would share. But she kept going, playing, winning, until a career-ending head injury, a traumatic brain injury, would cut it all short and take her to the edge. What happened was I thought about my mom, in that moment where I was standing on the ledge of the falls thinking about how, going over, knowing I couldn't swim. And something in my mind went to the space of a vision of her sitting on her bed at home, a knock at the door, and some official, a police officer, whoever, informing her that her, her baby was gone. And that was the thing I latched onto. I couldn't do that to her. I, I went outside of myself. So the lights went off you in did. your early 40s. Yeah. And you were ready to end it. It was. After all that success, I didn't see that woman that I was anymore. That was part of it, is I would see pictures of me making that great save. Yeah. And I would think to myself, wow, I know that's me, but I can't see how I did that. Eight years ago, in that darkness, Brianna not only couldn't will herself better, she couldn't pay the bills. So I was a really low point where I was behind on my rent, I was behind on all my bills. I had, I felt I had asked my friends for enough money. Did you really sell your gold medals? I did pawn them. She needed the money to find a way to survive, and when she walked away from that ledge and had that cash, light started to come in in that memory of her mother and when she met her now wife and when she got the surgery to heal that brain injury. That began the person you see today, who continues to tell this story of her greatest save, the one that didn't happen in the game, the one that kept her alive. That is truly my greatest save, was not what I did on the pitch, but more about what happened off of it.